pleasant day STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. For today's discussion, we will talk about the difference between the parameter and statistics. So at the end of this video lesson, you should be able to distinguish between parameter and statistic. What is a parameter? So a parameter is a value which represents a population. Examples of these are the symbols mu, p, and sigma. So mu is the population mean, p is the population proportion, and sigma is the population standard deviation. While a statistic is a value which represents a sample, examples are x bar, p hat, or s, small letter s. So x bar means sample mean, p hat is the sample proportion, and s is the sample standard deviation. So notice that a parameter is to a population and a statistic is to a sample. So to better remember that, P is to P, S is to S. I hope you got it. Now, let us distinguish the difference between a parameter and a statistic. So for a parameter, the average age of all jeepney drivers in the Philippines is 50 years. While on a statistic, the average age of 3,000 selected jeepney drivers across the country is 48 years. Notice that the sample are indicated on statistics, but the parameter describes all the jeepney drivers in the Philippines. Secondly, we have the average weight of all PHS students is 60 kilograms. While on a statistic, the average weight of 150 randomly selected students is 57 kilograms. So notice that the entire population is described by the parameter, which is all PHS students. And the statistic is described by the 100 randomly selected students. Third example, the, pro the proportion of Filipino teenagers who smoke is 30%. For the statistic, the proportion of Filipino teenagers who smoke is 33% based on the responses of 500 teenagers. So notice that all Filipino teenagers are described by the parameter of this study. And the statistic is described from the responses of 500 teenagers, which is the sample of the population. To summarize, these are the symbols that describes the parameter. We have the mu, which is the population mean, sigma squared, which is the population standard, um, sorry, it's the population variance, sigma is the population standard deviation, and p is our population proportion. Other symbols, such as capital letter N, describe the population size. Well, for statistic, we use the symbol x bar, which describes the sample mean. S squared, which is the sample variance. S is the sample standard deviation, and P hat is the sample proportion. We can also use small letter n to represent the sample size. Let's have a short activity. Which of the following is a parameter? Is it A, average amount of 1,000 milligrams of calcium teenagers consumed? B, 50 male teenagers? C, sample mean of 1,081 milligrams of calcium obtained from 50 male teenagers? Or D, none of the above? Very good. The correct answer is, the average amount of 1,000 milligrams of calcium teenagers consumed. So notice that the given data give us 
an idea that it, it describes all the teenagers who consume culture. Let's have the second question. Which of the following is a statistic? Following the same choices, which do you think is the answer? Correct. The answer is letter C. Sample mean of 1,081 milligrams of calcium obtained from 50 male students. So notice that from the given example, the 50 male teenagers describe the sample. No? And the sample mean obtained is 1,081 milligrams. So it is very easy to distinguish the difference between a population, um, population parameter and a sample statistic. So we are now done with this video lesson. On our next video lesson, we will talk about the sampling distribution for week number five. Again, this is Sir Peter, her statistics and probability teacher.